Five years ago, my pelvis failed. All three joints split apart spontaneously over about 10 days. Was walking 10 days later, could hardly move. That's my story. I was in the Coast Guard for about two years, um, wound up getting hurt. I have a lower back injury um, and I have a lot of mental issues. Because I've been out of the mental hospital for a while, I have gotten pretty close. I, well, there was one night in particular that I was feeling particularly suicidal. I had called the hotline, whatever, and I was just out. I had parked my car, I was just breaking down. I was going from rage to tears to depression to I, all over different ends of the spectrum. And she climbed out of her bed in the back seat and climbed in my lap and curled up in like a little football. And it just, it changed my perspective, like almost within like five minutes, as far as with the suicidal stuff. I mean, I was still had a lot of stuff that I was trying to process, but she almost instantly took away the suicidal ideation. Freedom Service Dogs is a nonprofit organization that um, takes dogs from shelters and rescues and custom trains them to help people with disabilities. Take it. Yes, good girl. Our organization is unique in that uh, the majority of service dog organizations uh, breed their dogs for, this, for their programs, and we use all rescue dogs. There's a number of uh, visions for Freedom Service Dog. I mean, the most compelling one is to be able to help people that can't otherwise help themselves. Take it. That's it. Good girl. Oh. Five years ago, about halfway through my second pregnancy, um, I had, closest way to describe it is a spontaneous failure of pelvic integrity. Basically all three joints of my pelvis failed, split apart over about a 10 day window. Brace. And then I found out about Freedom Service Dogs. Girl. And I thought, well, maybe they could help me. Maybe, maybe that would be a good fit. And so I called and I talked to the, um, the director at that time and she was lovely. And she said, well, let's interview you. Let's, let's have you come in and let's talk about what you can and can't do and what we might be able to do for you. And um, she started asking me questions about what would I like the dog to do for me? And mostly, I just wanted to go outside, you know? Sorry. The phone rang and the caller ID said Freedom Service Dogs. And I thought, oh, well, maybe they're updating something or maybe they have a question for me. And it was Kathy, the trainer, Levy's trainer, and said, hi, we have a dog for you. And my heart stopped. What? Really? What? It's my turn? <laughs> How's this gonna happen and when? And it was just this, um... my heart's pounding because I'm remembering how much my heart was pounding that day. And oh my gosh, this is really gonna happen. And then, oh my gosh, this is really gonna happen. Am I ready for this? Take. The thing I love most about my job is that it's just very rewarding. We, we touch so many people's lives. We, we do things for at-risk youth, um, for dogs, rescuing dogs, uh, helping clients, military, children. Um, it, it just, every day, no matter how stressful it is, how exhausted I am when I go home, I realize we've made a difference in a lot of different lives, and that makes it all worthwhile. Uh, our veteran clients come back from, with, with a lot of times physical wounds that in previous conflicts um, they would not have survived. With advances in battlefield medicine, uh, they are surviving and coming here. And these are, these are young kids. They're in their 20s. Uh, and they want to live their life. And uh, the dogs help them do that in a way that, that they wouldn't be able to do otherwise. My mind was just a million miles a minute all the time. And it seemed like the only time I could ever get it to calm down was when I would come up here, and it was after they had already done the profile meshing part. Um, the only time I could come down is if I came up here, and I would sit in the conference room or wherever, um, actually quite often take like an hour or two nap because it would just, I would cuddle and just the endorphins for her and me we would just both crash out. Everybody at Freedom News Me is the guy that would come up and see his service dog before it was even his service dog. So, she's my best friend. I mean, her and my wife are my two best friends. Oh. 
What these dogs are able to accomplish is amazing at times. The dog can be trained to pick up a credit card. I've seen them pick up a dime off of a linoleum floor. So all of the dogs we rescue are trained to work with our varied clients, which can range anywhere from someone with a mobility impairment to someone with post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, we also work with some older children as well. So these dogs all end up doing some pretty amazing things throughout the course of their training here with us. We do look for a very specific type of dog. Oh, good boy. Meeting these absolutely amazing dogs and seeing what they are capable of and being able to show people that is amazing. I mean, this is a truly incredible dog and I love that we get to meet these animals and give them that second chance that they deserve because clearly he's a great dog. I mean, this is exactly what I look for when I'm testing. He wants to be near me, he wants to please, he's fun, he's happy, he's enjoying himself. It's, it's just an amazing thing that we get to do and I'm lucky to be a part of it. The short answer about Freedom Service Dogs is it's a, it's a virtuous circle. We save, we rescue dogs, we get them healthy, we train them, and, and we change and, and in some cases save people's lives. And it's, it's really that simple. Our process for providing these dogs for the clients is, is pretty extensive and it's very costly. It, it costs us money to find the dog, to get the dog healthy, to train the dog, to place the dog, to train the client, to follow up for the lifetime of the client and the dog team and uh, that adds up to um, approximately $25,000 and sometimes it can be more. Um, and we do not charge our clients for these dogs. They have had massive medical bills, medical issues, and most of them, um, they're not able to pay for something like that. So we do give the dogs to the clients. The passion of the people that work here and the volunteers is not only do they live it and believe it, it's, it's you come here and you feel it. And I've never felt anything like that in any other organization that I've chosen to get involved with. Uh, it's, it's really that passion. So we need money, but more than that, we need passionate volunteers. And to all of our current and future supporters, I'd just like to say thank you so much. The impact of what you do uh, in terms of your donations and where that goes and how we can utilize those funds is so far-reaching and really is having a significant impact on the community. Freedom Service Dogs has been in, in existence since 1987 and we have been able to grow and help more and more people every year and it's all due to our donors because we have no revenue stream. There's no income for us other than people's generosity and uh, in helping us do what we do and we, we love our donors.